comes. Well, shout out to you for watching, my fair See, and I are going to be your guides for today's journey. We're going to be discovering things that we've never covered before. Mm, so I'm to my fair to Kuninda. It's Ninge Zitle Foot is a special guy. Kunala Lim Zanti Zikona. And then now, let's maybe be about my heritage sites. For Tige, they actually get security and Zimalakul. Yes, many of these places are given extraordinary measures yes. to make experience abound to Mono. And one such measure was a transportation that actually started as a sole purpose to move around abound to cheaper and faster. Mm, definitely, are you ready for the show? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, we'll in my face. I guess I'm getting Here's what's coming up on today's episode of TOMZ. Cable cars are awesome machines that can take you over pretty much any obstacle out there, offering many opportunities for people abatana in nature and history to have for meaningful careers. Why does it always seem like the wind blows harder the higher you go up from the ground? Well, so it's Tola Gabanti. I'm a cable cars were revolutionary when they first appeared. Could it be possible that cable cars are the transportation of the future? Hmm? Spunawazi. Know your stuff when it comes to heritage in Mzanti. And these places are so important. But what if everyone didn't think so? Well, Spunawazi. I got my friends to see in Jenny, look at Namjanja, my friends to TMZ, so in Petal, and nothing but the very best when it comes to entertainment. Now on Facebook, say, let's look at the what is your favorite heritage site? What is your favorite heritage site? What is your favorite cradle of humankind? Always be like, oh, no, 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 Running the streets of Durban buffet to Siseta meaning I'm Kaji. Oh grand. Sure. Um Nand. Fresh one hundred. Yes. What's your name? Sanel. Okay, Sanel and Funu Kenan, eh? Yini heritage site. And Taban what is in Tesas and Zirak Dad. Okay. Uh heritage has a good see. Heritage mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. it's where people to express their culture. Ilenda wa wenze akoni sinto zaktal. Ezo sala ibe history. Why ukama ngutuk balegi logo tiles into les ubas protect all the time? Ingoba ene afane libeli zbono abantu abo ngobi sinto eza zenze zaktal. Because um, it's important to go school and history and where we come from. I'm very excited to come back. Oh, we are very happy to be here. Oh, we are very happy what I'm kind of we're talking about two important things, now, cable cars and heritage sites. I know you might seem a little bit confused, but Ungawari, we've got you. But since we're going to be talking about cable cars a little bit later on in the show, Konomaya, let's go to the heritage side of things. Check this out. So all heritage sites are well protected by a big governing body that tries to keep special places in the world intact for future generations. They also preserve information that help us uncover the histories of civilization. In 1999, the Isimangaliso Wetlands Park was the first site in South Africa to be classified as a World Heritage Site Lana Imzant. Now, some areas in the park have been in conservation for even longer than that, which just goes to show how important they are for the rest of the park. Now, these types of sites always have something special about them that needs to be protected because it can otherwise be destroyed. Now, Umzanti has eight other sites classified as World Heritage Sites. The first cable cars were used to pull trams on the ground with a cable and were started in the year 1826. They later became a popular way to move many people at once over obstacles like water bodies, slopes and mountains. One of the most well-known cable ways in South Africa is the one of Table Mountain and was completed in the year 1929. Even in Amtlanje, there are still cities that use trams pulled by cables as a main form of transportation. Well, I'm a cable way while I'm Zanzi are pretty much short trips now, yes. compared to the one in Sweden, which is like 42 kilometers long. Mm, longest in the world, right? When I look at our show, I'm going to talk about a cable car all the way. Come on, you get a quick commercial break, so we're in my way, don't. Run! Oh, 
Welcome back, my friends. So you guys are still tuned in to SABC One and Mzanti for sure. And of course, this is your number one science and technology show, SAB saying your teenagers on a mission. Mm, now, my friends, tonight during the quick commercial break, my friends leave school. Okay, they actually admitted oh, no. to being scared of heights. Not that you're alone. I could be on your my heights. Madangas Abantu are actually scared of heights. No. What <laughs> Steve is trying to say is that Kwani Zintabas Biza and my cable cars, they actually take you to places that you wouldn't think you'd be able to see and experience. Am I right? Yeah. Well, check this out. Buffet, it's your boy CAD, you are pronounced Caddy, yet on another mission, Buffet, it's running the streets of Johannesburg. I'm telling you, it's this Buffet. So I'm going to be a tourist. So it's a cable way to talk about this. It's a cable way, and we're going to learn about the science behind it. It's you and me in this mission. Let's get how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm good. I'm Caddy. My name is Bokang. I'm the ticket office manager at the Aerial Cableway. Nice to meet you, Bokang. Nice to meet you. So, your mission here to you and I'm trying to just talk about the things that are like Aerial Cableway. Yes, I'll provide you with the necessary information. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to tell you what happens here and where are we? Where is it? Well, the, the place where we are right now is the mm -hmm. ticket office uh, where we're supposed to purchase the tickets. And there's a um, first trip going up and uh -huh. the last trip going down. Okay, cool. So, can you show me around? Yes, I can. Let's go. go. How did you join the Aerial Cableway? Well, I was a student of, uh, I studied the, to, uh, di a diploma in tourism, go uh -huh. Vasti College, and then uh, there was a vacancy here, and then I applied, and then I got the job. Oh, so you always wanted to do this? Always wanted to do tourism. Uh -huh. So what's yeah. so special about tourism? Well, talking to people and uh, finding out uh, adventure places, the to communicating with people. Yes. Obviously, leisure places. Uh, there's so many, so many things that you can do in tourism. Okay, so for one, can say that we have facility that you can Well, uh, we have uh, our adventure booking center, our curio shop, and there's a Heroes Restaurant Grill House. Okay. So uh, otherwise, there's a the normal cableway. Okay. So cableway here, you can say Well, the aerial cableway is a leisure tourist attraction. The main aim for you to come here is to, sh is to see the landscaping or how it looks uh, once you're at the top, the landscaping of the town, how it looks from the top to the bottom. Uh -huh. And is it safe? It's very safe. <laughs> it's very secure. We do maintenance on it okay. every, every day. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm ready for it. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay, so obviously, we have to meet each and every day. Definitely. So, when you have a who come here and experience the place, that's what I do, that's what I love. That's why I initially joined the place like this. So I get to meet a variety of people from different cultures, uh, different nationalities. So I'm passionate about uh, talking to people. I'm a people's person. So. And how's the, how's the response? The response has been great, uh -huh. definitely great. Uh, Cableway is a growing company. Mm -hmm. We've only been operational for four years now. I mean, um, uh, the sky is the limit. Okay, so what have you been doing? Well, uh, it's been roughly four years. Started here as a uh, cashier, uh -huh. and then I got uh, later on I got promoted to being the ticket office manager. Okay, so see how good you manage. Right here, we're going to the uh, bottom station where you get to climb into the cable cars. See this place is, is beautiful. I can see there's there's heights in this. Weren't you scared? Aren't you scared of heights? Weren't you scared before? <laughs> I was scared a little bit, but now I'm used to it. I, uh, I almost uh, go with the cable away almost every single day. I'm a bit nervous, guys, because this thing is shaky. It's a bit shaky, and I'm like I'm nervous. Okay, this is not shaky. It's just going straight. But it was <laughs> bumping, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to do that, man. And my cable cars need to be designed to survive the conditions both on top of the mountain and at the bottom. The higher you go though, the more wind you experience. Gotcha, in dab. Now the earth has what is called a friction layer. This is where wind slows down the surface of the earth because of friction. I mean, Nabanganji, on the ground you have more obstacles that slow the wind down, but at the top, it's just open skies. 
Now, mountain tops also experience higher winds because the land mass of the mountain acts as an obstacle for the wind and ends up challenging it, making it go even faster. How much is that scene when they see this? They're overjoyed. Uh -huh. um, uh, not only do we get international tourists, but you also get uh, local tourists. People that come here, buy them all, they enjoy the view, they like the view, we also get uh, repeat customers. Mm, so mm. come here this week and then next week, and then this place will always be here, it will never go away. It's a beautiful place. This is our own uh, attraction here in uh, the North Coast. Oh wow, these places are so important for the future and our history. I can just imagine if they weren't protected by law. So what if they were actually not? Well, a lot of us to get the Gabanzi later on in the show. Right now, though, quick commercial break. Saboya and Vawe Tor. Welcome back to TMZ. Mzanti for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to TMZ. Watch today's ABC One. Mzanti for sure. Most definitely. Okay, boy, coming in season. Yeah. We've learned so much about the people who lived thousands of years ago yeah. by what they've left behind. Yeah. But in often places, what they've left behind, abantu la ba vatala ko na vatala mtata lizun delezo for their own profit. Mm. That's why we're looking for us to actually protect those sites. And that's exactly where heritage sites actually come in. For to support the abantu, I'm a cable cars. What you? Just so awesome. When we go and get any cable car, we're with any cable Boy, car. Boy, I was in there relaxing. I don't know. What if I'm a heritage site? We never classified or never existed. Funu was like, I want my guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So logistically, we are here early every day of the week. We come in, we ensure all the equipment is safe. Mm -hmm. We have to plan and logistically work out when is going to be busier days and when is going to be quieter days. Okay. So we currently have a five-year track record okay. and we monitor from last year to this year. Mm -hmm. We monitor school holidays. We monitor what's happening in Johannesburg. Yes. So naturally, your staffing levels have to lift up in busier periods, mm -hmm. which is always school holidays and yes. December time. The international guests coming in, yes. they can book on Line. There's two operators, bring them in, old age people, disabled people, physically impaired and visually impaired, they get preference. We have a special gondola on line okay. where we load the wheelchair. You don't even have to get out your wheelchair. Mm -hmm. We load it into the cabin, bring it up oh, wow. and the walkways are all wheelchair friendly. You've got to think about every little piece out there. Yes. There are people that want to go, that can't afford to go. Yes. We have special discounted rates for educationals, bringing school children through. And on a busy day, we can have 600 children up top here. It's fantastic to see the experience when they get out here that they're on top of the oldest visible mountains in the world. And to pick up a little stone to understand that this is over 200 million years old. Wow. That is something a child grows up with. Yeah. And your potential customer in 10 years time is that child. Because if you've had a really great experience in 10 years time or 15 years time when you have your own children, Memories take you back to property. So you want that memory of them picking up the little stone and saying, I was on top here. Yes. Let me show my children. Yes. What are the future plans? Future plans is a lot more entertainment. Yes. Uh, we have more developments that we're busy doing up here. Mm -hmm. We have a very big, large lookout bar for the adults to sit down here overlooking the views. Okay. We have regular musicians playing up here on weekends. Mm -hmm. We've hosted music concerts up here until 12 o'clock in the evening for 600 guests, so live performances. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking for opportunities of bringing something different. Yes. Taking you away from a TV, taking you away from sitting at home, mm -hmm. taking you out and get the families together so you can actually get together and enjoy life. Yes, most definitely. On the heritage site, he in Dao, Lawa and a special cultural or physical significance. Local Kazuguti, it's a place where something really important in history, Yenzega, Nomagaya Kiwa, or a place that justifies our expectations of nature. Now, Ukbigela Lenda Olezi came about in the early 1950s when some developments in Egypt were planned that were going to destroy many of its cultural treasures. Now, in order to try to save them, Egypt Yonage got together with the United Nations. They managed to save thousands of significant artifacts which eventually led the United Nations to start a worldwide program in which countries agreed to protect the Maasai Tlawa. So Ian, tell me, do you think this place is going to be a heritage site? It already falls within the Michalisberg biosphere. It, is, it already is the adventure destination for Johannesburg. It has done wonders to the community and to town. Development is thriving. It, people are starting businesses every day because the influx of tourism into this area is not only because of the beautiful views and the biosphere, but the cableway has a draw card. It gives someone the opportunity to get up here and have a look at where he wants to go next. Mm. Thank you so much. Pizza, pizza, pizza. There you have it, Buffetti, from the famous words of Ian Gunn Buffetti. Time is now and not tomorrow. So why are you still chilling? Go out there and go get it. Got a managing it's mission accomplished. It's boy, Caddy. I give a fit to see TMZ in Yasgut as Hanukkah is poor Mission Varashel Lapo Eko and Zenola Bakaya. If you have one of my bono good Tawako, all you have to do is simply go into our Facebook and Twitter pages of Vigalapo or you take a boy and no matter what you have to do, TMZ is calling Sako. All you have to do is simply email us on terms at sabc.co.za. Go much again, let's see what went down. Nick Grant, I'm not outing you, Mela. I'm not the fresh 100. Guys, now I'm at my heritage sites while I'm at KZN. Now I can. 
Okay, cool. Thing in Chile again, eh? If I was a Makama Wakwan, but I go website is in South Africa. Net, eh? Nizo phone and my heritage sites, Walla, in South Africa, no Walla, Walla, I case it in. Now, sometimes no go my heritage sites, no, as a Makama Wakwan as well, caution, eh? So if in the go a website, lays on Fundisaga Banzuti, that I got a year heritage site and is keep on con. How dope is that? No, caution, eh? www.southafrica.net. Anne? Show them out. Away. Our scientists and friends all over the world are trying to come up with a new solution for air transportation because oil is getting more expensive and of course it's polluting our environment. So, here is the solution. Check this out. Because of higher fuel prices and population growth, our cable cars are making a comeback in large cities like in Washington, D.C. Now, some urban planners believe that this may be the form of transportation for the future. So, cable cars will offer faster transport that takes up less land area. And the Lagos are so confident in this solution that they've built a $275 million new cable way. Yo! I got my friends to say, I was going to go to the land and I'm going to my heritage side to wait. What if they never existed? Huh? Without certain sites being claimed as heritage sites, there would be no common understanding over the world that it is significant. That means countries will no longer be obligated to protect them. So Abantu would be able to just go and loot and destroy the valuable things inside these sites, like special plants and artifacts and more. If they do that, we would lose critical pieces of history that teach us how our civilizations before us lived, leading us to incomplete and inaccurate histories in our book. And because many developing countries won't be able to protect special sites without help from the outside they would simply go to waste some sites in the world have even been moved onto danger lists illustrating just how critical it is for them to be kept you won't want to lose a piece of your history do you i don't I have a fit. TOMZ in Patelinda Bezim Nandi, Colonel Apimaka. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. So, when I have a lot of people who are in the world, I have a lot of people who are in the world. All you have to do is send us the idea of a fit. And if it's fresh and brilliant, we'll make it a TOMZ official episode, Colonel Lago SAVC. And not only that, Colonel Bezan, you get a goodie bag as well as just keep us up with TOMZ. So, when I have a lot of people, all you have to do is send through your ideas on Facebook, which is a Facebook.com forward slash TOMZ. On Twitter, we are simply at Tom's underscore SAVC. BC underscore one. And that is a wrap, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us on this epic journey. It's been yes. crazy. Otherwise, the revolution does not end here, my friends. On social media pages, we are active and live. Yes, my friends. Now, for more info on the show, you can always visit www.tomz.co.za. My friends, we're going to get my heritage sites. Wait, from myself and Katie. Shh, 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 Here's what's coming up on the next episode of TOMZ. Opilani was living the life as a young dude when he was devastated by losing his sight. While thinking he'll never see her again, an incredible group of people pulled together to help. What are those weird floaty things you see in your eyes sometimes? So look up and see why scientists are so excited about the future of eye care. Make sure you take good care of your own eyes with these awesome tips. Well, I'm going to go to TMZ every Monday and Tuesday. Roger, on SABC 1 to 4 p.m. Excel, Lona, Umzanti. For sure.